Lawmakers are working into the night to try to come to an agreement on a stimulus plan as the virus continues to spread here in Metro Detroit. There are now 1,035 confirmed cases across Michigan, with the greatest number of cases in the city of Detroit, 349. The ninth death was reported today, a case in Washtenaw County. The county health department says he was an elderly man with underlying health issues. He was hospitalized yesterday and died today at Michigan Medicine. There has been one death in Washtenaw, Oakland, Macomb, and Kent counties, five in Wayne County. There are other big developments today in the state. A Wayne State student in the Anthony Wayne Drive Apartments has tested positive for the virus. That student is being moved to Atchison Hall, where a floor has now been reserved for students under quarantine. 233 Detroit police officers are now under quarantine. Chief James Craig says 150 may be back on the job this week if they continue to show no symptoms. But if not, he says he may have to turn to Michigan State Police for help. Today, Ohio's governor ordered a shelter in place. That means everyone except essential workers should stay home, with the exception of trips to the doctor or to the grocery store. Priya Mann is live downtown. And Priya, today Governor Whitmer was asked about whether she'll do this in Michigan. Yeah, she made the rounds on national media on Sunday, talking about her frustrations with the federal government, the need for more tests, and the options her team is still considering that could affect every single Michigander. With more than a thousand coronavirus cases in Michigan, Governor Whitmer defended her decision not to enact shelter in place orders similar to other states, including Ohio. My team is meeting 24-7. Uh, trust me, we are, we are continually trying to determine what we need to do to keep people safe and to keep our health care system from being overwhelmed. Over the weekend, a Wayne State student tested positive for COVID-19 and was quarantined on campus. Washtenaw County reported its first death. And Detroit Police Chief James Craig said Saturday night, six officers and a sergeant had contact with a suspect confirmed to have coronavirus. They, along with more than 200 Detroit cops, are now under quarantine, waiting to be tested. Medical experts, including our Dr. Frank McGee, George, expect the numbers to rise. The steep upward trajectory in positive cases has more to do with the reality that labs across the state are still processing a backlog of tests. We haven't peaked or even leveled off in new cases, and this daily increase that we're seeing really reflects that we are still catching up with the real numbers in our state. Concerns about the coronavirus have also led to severe blood shortages in Michigan. The American Red Cross says so far 216 blood drives were canceled, resulting in a potential loss of more than 6,600 blood donations across the state. Cancer patients and burn victims, the blood products are needed. Um, still today, just as much as they were every day for those sort of patients. The American Red Cross says blood is urgently needed and is doing everything it can to keep worried donors safe. Temperatures are being taken as um, individuals prior, prior to them entering the facilities. We are also making sure that all of our areas are sanitized between each donor. So we are following the guidelines that are established. And in addition to donors, the Red Cross desperately needs locations, any place with more than 2,000 square feet. If you would like to donate, your urge to call ahead. We have that information up on clickondetroit.com. Reporting from downtown Detroit, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right. Thank you, Priya.